So I'm here to just promote self-confidence and self-love in every one of you guys. We may not have that ideal body that you guys see on Instagram, but you know, we just have to accept how our body is and just know that no matter what we look like, we should still love ourselves and everybody should love one another. what's up it's your girl sherry so i'm back here with another video and today i'm going to be doing a cupshe haul for you guys i've done a few of these videos some of my cupshe swimsuits this time around i'm going to share with you guys a new collection that i got for this summer if you haven't seen my other videos and you're not familiar with Cupshe, it's basically a swimsuit line. They carry swimsuits from one piece, two pieces, and some laundry pieces there as well. So if you're interested in checking some of the collections that they have, I will post their link to their website in my description down below. So I have five swimsuits that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And I love these swimsuits a lot. Although I have probably only worn one, one of them since the summer has began, which is fine because I have other swimsuits that they have also sent me from the past that I'm still trying to all wear. But this time around, I don't know, I just love this collection. It's really cute and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So first and foremost, I'm going to share with you guys their packaging because their packaging is really cute and um, I'm going to keep them. Like I'm going to keep these swimsuits in these packaging. First of all, this is one that is different than what I have my other swimsuits packaged in, but it's just a simple plastic bag, a little zip up bag that says cup sheet on it. But my other four bathing suits are in these really cute floral print bags. Like, how cute are these bags? I mean, if not, like, if you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I've shared these packaging before and how cute they are. But, guys, I honestly keep all my swimsuits in here because it just keeps it nice and organized and I don't want to get rid of these packaging. Like, look, it's so cute. I'm going to be trying these swimsuits on for you guys. But I'm just going to make this known here for you guys that I do not have a perfect swimsuit body and that is okay. So I'm here to just promote self-confidence and self-love in every one of you guys. We may not have that ideal body that you guys see on Instagram and all these like bikini models but you know we just have to accept how our body is and just know that no matter what we look like we should still love ourselves and everybody should love one another no matter what they look like we gotta stop with this whole body shaming and just respect everybody how they are let everybody feel comfortable in their own body you guys feel comfortable in your own body and i am learning to love myself more and be comfortable in my own body although i know i don't have that perfect shape it's okay. It's okay. You know, we're living in this world right now where not everything is picture perfect and we just gotta accept that. So I just wanted to put it out there. So if you guys see my body and it's not like this perfect figure, bikini, abs, it's okay. I'm not striving really to get there. I mean, I am trying to work out my hardest to get to that body that I am comfortable with. So, you know, I'm just, I'm sharing it how it is. Okay, now that has been said, I'm gonna start off with a random bathing suit here. So the first bathing suit that I have here, this one is the cup sheet red and white striped high-waisted bikini. Kind of like a three-piece swimsuit because we have the bottom right over here. So this is, this is the back actually, and there is the front. And this is the cute little top. Hold it up here. And it just kind of it has a little tie where you can just tie that into a nice cute bow. And it also comes with a scarf. I mean the model was wearing a scarf. Not sure that I would be wearing this in the sun because I don't want to get no weird 
tan lines or anything like that but i mean it probably would be cute to wear as a little headband so i could probably wear it like this if i'm going to be wearing this swimsuit because i don't want to have anything on my neck because that's just gonna look weird but i just i don't know i just thought this was really cute although canada day already passed this would have been perfect to wear for canada day because it's the red and white pattern that we got here to go with the canada flag so that is that all these swimsuits are pretty affordable i believe that most of these swimsuits were like $24.99 around that same price and up if anything i'm gonna have a link to all of these swimsuits in my description box so just keep an eye out if you guys are interested in that now this next one i feel is super super cute this one is the yellow and herringbone pattern bikini it's a two-piece bikini so i'll share with you guys the bottom so this is the bottom right here and that's just the back that is the nice herringbone pattern i really like this pattern super cute but the thing that i really like about this one is the top this is a top and you got the cute little sleeves right here as well i mean i don't know like this itself is really cute but i don't know how it would go if you were going to wear it to the beach because you'll be getting all these weird tan lines as well but it'll be cute like if you're going to be going like just maybe just taking a photo shoot with the bikini on or going to an indoor pool or something like that but on a super hot sunny day i don't know if it would be ideal because if i wear this i'll have these weird ruffly tan lines but other than that like it's super cute the next swimsuit here is a one-piece swimsuit this one is the boho stripe halter cutout one piece and um this is the pattern i mean i feel like i always gravitate towards like the like the black color bathing suits i mean for my other collections from kapshi there i had a lot of black so this time i wanted something with <clears throat> more color it kind of goes like that at the bottom there's little slits right there where the stomach area is and a little nice little halter top this is what it looks like on very cute very classy still you know has a little sexiness to it but still kind of keep it a little bit on the classy side so you know it also looks cute with a cover-up like a long cover-up kind of thing or a cardigan or whatever you call that style <laughs> this next swimsuit is the navy and white vertical stripe high waist bikini i know it says navy but it looks like black it's it, in the description it's it's navy but to me i don't see the navy i just see the black and the white i don't know if you guys can see that but i could be colorblind but this one's a cute top so this is the top over right here i find it it's super adorable i mean like i feel like you can also wear this as a top and just wear like some cute little shorts or high waist pants or something or a nice cute skirt and there is the back right here it's like a strappy back Again, you know, these bikinis will give you all sorts of different tan lines. I already have a tan line from one of the bikinis that I wore, which is fine. But, you know, I mean, that's something that you're going to have to deal with when wearing a swimsuit. Depends on what kind of style you have. So this is a cute bottom. There you go. But yeah, I really like this. I haven't worn this. I'm hoping that I can... Uh, wear this before the summer ends so yeah that is what it looks like ooh, ooh, ooh. all right so i got one more swimsuit left and i feel like i saved the best for last i really like this next pattern that i'm about to show you and the color because everything else was just kind of like all neutral tones and such except for the red one but this one it's a little bit more colorful for me and i like it i mean it's not bright or anything like that but you know it's it's colorful enough so this one is the orange and floral twist bikini i love it because y'all know i had orange hair and i miss my orange hair just kind of brought it back to more of another neutral kind of tone but this is the bikini top super cute i did wear this one and um, i do have the tan lines on my back with this bikini 
because this is what the bag looks like let me show you guys quickly so it is kind of like a strappy bag as well same thing as that white one that i showed you so it has the two straps right here so on my back you can see those tan lines there but you know i'm not complaining i really love the twist here at the front it just kind of gives like off a really sexy vibe but i don't know i just like it what can i say <laughs> and then this is the bottom this is the bottom as you can see floral and it has a little tie there at the front that goes with the color of the top and that's the back right there as well so out of all five, this one here is my favorite because of the color, but I love them all. Like I am hoping that I can wear them all this summer. If not this summer, I can always wear it next summer. So, cause I still have a lot of the other swimsuits laying around, but you know, this was my collection for this time around. So that is all of the swimsuits that I got. Thank you again for Kupshi for sending these out to me. Oh, got a text. Again, thank you to Kapshi for sending out all of these bikinis to me and some suits to try on. I am really going to enjoy having a bigger collection of swimsuits now that I can wear. I remember I started off with only three swimsuits and out of those three, I tend to always wear one specific one because that's the only one that was a lot like flattering to my body shape. And now I have like so much to choose from, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, I can't complain. So that is it. Um, I know that I haven't made a video in such a long time. Life has been super busy. I actually graduated from hair school. I am done school and now I am working at a hair salon as an apprentice. So um, I'm just excited to get my career on the go as a professional hairstylist. If any of you guys are from Winnipeg and want your hair done, holler at your girl. I will be so happy to beautify your locks for you. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And also check me out on Instagram. I did have two. Now I have three Instagram accounts. Like, I don't know why I keep adding Instagram accounts. But, you know, I have like these different niches that I just want to share with you guys. So, again, my first main account is Sherry Adamovo. You guys know that. Same as my channel name. Follow me there. And if you guys are interested in any hair work that I've done, check out Glam Star Artistry. And I started Keto Diet. So if you guys want to join me on my keto journey, follow me on Instagram as well at Keto Girl Sherry. If you guys do check out that page, I have previous posts from a while back that aren't keto related. It was still mainly a fitness account when I was, you know, doing different fitness journeys in the past. And I decided to just keep it and change it to my keto lifestyle because I've just been doing keto and I've just been um, enjoying it. So I just wanted to just document my journey and inspire people and share recipes and whatnot. Other than that, that is all I gotta say for today. And I hope I will be back again real soon. So stick around and just keep, on a, keep a lookout on my next video. In order to do that, don't forget to just hit that notification bell so you guys can get that notification email that another video from me has come out. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.